Okay. Well, it is um, obvious that uh, the Democratic Party is floundering. I mean, they can't tell you what they're going to do, what their program is, without first spending half an hour talking about Russia and how evil Russia is. And in, in the rest of the country, the people in the country really have no interest in this at all. At all. <laughs> you know, they, uh, they're weary of war. They finally have gotten it through their heads that these wars are pointless at best and destructive and, and evil at worst. And, and yet... The Democrats want to, you know, pick a fight with the second most powerful country in the world. It doesn't make any sense. So then, meanwhile, you have all these people who are protesting. But, you know, I can't, I can't discern their agenda, really. I mean, other than they don't like Trump. Well, that's not a program. Not liking Trump is not a program. Now, in New York State, the younger Cuomo, who's governor now, who hasn't been really very good but yet he invited Bernie Sanders over a while back maybe it was last month or so I forget exactly when to talk about free education I mean that's not where everything you know that's not a be all and end all but that's that's a beginning that's a start that's a positive development and if he and and if you to talk about things like that. In fact, I think he's probably, I don't know for sure, but it seems like this is because he'll run for president in 2020. Will he win? I don't know. But at least that's something that is, um, you know, based in reality in some way. That's something that's based in the perception in, of the people, the, what the people in their minds perceive they need. You see, because Trump says, well, I'm going to bring the factories back. And then all the lefties say, well, what a fascist. <laughs> you know, uh, I just, you know what I mean? He says, we should get along with Russia. Oh, that's terrible, the lefties say. Wait, I thought the left was supposed to be against all this confrontation and in war. Meanwhile... The media is doing its utmost best to sabotage Trump, and it's and it's just backfiring every which way because nobody nobody can follow the thread that they're they're on. They're on this thread that doesn't that doesn't coincide with the wavelength of the people at all. And I live in a place that's not New York City or California, so I I. I, I kind of am around people that, and I know they're worried, they're worried about. They're worried about the, their future economic prospects. They're worried about their, you know, economic security. This, this is what they're worried about. They're not, and this is why they voted not that it was, that, I mean, maybe you could argue whether it was a smart move or, move or not, but they voted for Trump because the Democrats were offering them nothing. Nothing. Hillary Clinton was offering them nothing. So I guess this is all just to say that if the Democratic Party wants to do better in the future, they need to start speaking to the needs, or at least the perceived needs, what the people perceive are their needs, you know, but, but they'd rather go on and on about things that nobody, that people are puzzled as to why they're even going on about it. It's very dangerous too. Gorbachev just came out in Time Magazine of all places and said that the world is on a path towards war and, you know, we need to cut this out, basically, is what he said. <sighs> all right.